Hey, I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, I'm very excited about this one. Uh, again, it's another special one today here. Um, simply because this is actually my first cause piece. Uh, I have opened other cause pieces here. Uh, actually, just one uh, official cause release, uh, which is the cause small life figure here, uh, which is why I kind of, you know, I need to set up with the, you know, Fool's Paradise, ECWO, uh, collabo pieces here, the hype food with the small life cause. So, you know, pretty appropriate with the figure we have here. So, uh, when this came out, I was just super stoked about it. It was... Um, 2016. Uh, this is the first um, open bag edition release uh, Cause came out with. Of course, there's other editions uh, uh, Cause came out with uh, earlier on. But as far as the open edition casings and editions releases go with Cause, this is the first official release. So, hey, we're really fortunate to get this. So these retailed really at 220 from what I believe. Uh, 200 to 220. I believe it was 220 was the retail price. And uh, that's what I snagged it up for. Uh, this dropped at the MoMA, the Modern Museum in Fort Worth. Uh, this is that their release, and uh, man, I was just super stoked to be a part of it. When I was I got them all in the cart, uh, I think I had three in the cart, but uh, man, it was similar to that shoes you release, uh, where I, I put all three in my cart, uh, three colorways, and um, I couldn't check out, so I had to retry again. And uh, upon second time, uh, I got this piece out here. So this is the edition release we have here today. Uh, the cause open edition, uh, great companion. So I haven't opened this box. Uh, as you can tell, I have opened it. I, I didn't slit, slide it open with the machete or anything today, but uh, I haven't opened it out the bag. It's actual original packaging. So uh, this is actually my first piece, my first cause piece. Uh, I'm sorry, but I never took it out of its packaging just because I thought you know it was really nice to you know keep it right, keep it like this, uh, keep it like this and stuff, keep it in this packaging. And I, I never thought that I'd be doing reviews, and I never thought that I'd have. Uh, such a cool receptive audience like you folks so uh you know uh i'm gonna go ahead and take this out the bag for you folks my first cause companion but you know when it's your first one it hits a little different so uh even though we already did a cause review that one i already opened before uh just so i can look at it and stuff uh this one i had not opened and uh yeah so slides just out man i still can't believe that's kind of surreal to me just how i'm taking this out the bot the bag so Super clean, and I'm a sucker for original boxes too. I kept the original MoMA box from uh, Fort Worth. Uh, I went ahead and kept that box, and I keep this piece in there just because. So yeah, very similar to the uh, other, very similar packaging to the uh, to a lot of figure open edition figures we see here, and uh, similar to that small live figure. But here we go, taking it out now. Man, very smooth, and I love I love looking at this. I love looking at this up close. Uh, very smooth. A lot of people complain about quality control with the, uh, you know, with these new open edition figures, but I mean, I'm very happy. I'm very happy with this one. Uh, man, just like, you know, a little breathtaking a little bit, right? Kind of quiet. So I'm very, uh, very happy with this so far. Uh, it is very clean. Uh, solid weight. Honestly, it's not too light. Uh, honestly, I honestly feel like this might be heavier than this. I might take this. I lied. They're about the same weight. But yeah, this is very nice, honestly. Uh, here it is up. Here he is up close. If you uh, want to peep him up, we'll get close ups too for sure. But I love how he has this little gut to him. You know, he's just like kind of like slide. You know, he's standing straight, but he's got you know a little gut to him. He's not, you know, he's not like a completely uh, you know thin guy. So and his hands, uh, they, they do articulate too. So and everything's wrapped up. We got the uh, little very similar to the Cosby. Actually, this one. Uh, Slightly different, I would say, uh, the cause, um, this open edition, the, uh, small lie, they actually had plastic wrappings on the feet, and, uh, I think that's the only difference from what I see here, uh, right off the bat, this one didn't have, uh, this one didn't have any kind of packaging on the feet, and I believe the bagging is also a little different, I think with the, uh, small lie, uh, as opposed to this, like, circular, you know, glove, glove packaging kind of, like, thing, uh, I think they just kind of give you, like, some baggies, like, I don't know. It's a little different, I would say, but uh, this is their first open edition release, so I guess they were getting, uh, you know, just figuring how they would go about the packaging. So I'm just gonna slide those out here, and yeah, they actually uh, it came out like 16. It came out in 2016, and we can uh, see that in the bottom of the feet uh, reaffirms that here. Cost 16 open edition, and then uh, Medicom Toy China. Oh, right, and that's about it with the packaging. I'm sorry, so. Uh, yeah, similar packaging. You can see the character sort of sketched here. Cause companion open edition, and of course we keep it in theme with authentic. Uh, of course we keep it in theme with authentic authenticating the products. They have the uh, Medicom toy official. I'm assuming it's Medicom toy. Yeah, super clean outside this box. So yeah, I love this piece. I love that this is uh, 
you know, just causes peace. You know, this is his original OG figure, you know, the cause companion. So, and here we have it. I would say maybe this is 300 if it's opened up like this, sealed uh, anywhere from three to 400. I think that varies with the price. Uh, the price also vary depending on the colorways too. Uh, these also, re uh, these retailed all at 220 and they came out with uh, six figures actually dropped that day. Uh, it was these three, it was these, uh, it was uh, three, of three of these versions, black, gray, and uh, brown, the original brown colorway. And there were also uh, three of these, and then there were also three of the same colorways, but they were flayed, cut in half, and you can see the dissected version uh, inside of them. So uh, six different releases that day uh, sold out super quick. They really did. Uh, very happy with this choice too, honestly. You can see more features, I would say, with, with uh, you know, with the different color, with the gray and brown colorways as opposed to the black, but uh, no, the blacks definitely hold a really cool, cool and unique too. Um, I mean, just for instance here, uh, we have the black, open edition here uh small eye and uh yeah it's super great very very detailed but i think it loses some of the details like the x's on the hands and the feet uh it being black all blacked out like this it kind of uh you can't really see it too well but i gotta pose like this anyway so in this in this instance you can only see the x's on the feet uh the hand they are they are in the gloves here too but of course they're uh not facing it with this post but uh you know kind of just i kind of just like this the gray and the brown colorways for that reason just because you can see the you know those features a little more and then you can see the different colors from the pant from the torso to the to the pants with the little uh you know little belt buckles or whatever those are there those little belt notches those, uh, and everything uh yeah and then the pose as far as the posing goes uh you can move the feet slightly so i don't know why you move the feet actually i'm lying can you uh i'm trying to move them a little bit maybe you can but oh yeah you can you definitely can so you can move the feet. This one was actually a little stiffer than this one, but uh, this one's moving here. So you can move the feet slightly. You can move this one here, you know, you're shaking your hand or whatever. So uh, kind of super clean. Uh, and uh, he is, honestly, uh, I think this is a, this one's actually a little taller, but since he's bent over, I think he actually stands about the same height as this one. So that's pretty interesting when we see him side by side. I did read an article recently too. Uh, I don't know if it was uh, if I read or watched a video, but uh, it did mention that this uh, this figure itself is taking you know Mickey by storm. Uh, just because uh, yeah, I guess they say that because it kind of resembles Mickey in that sense that you know it's got the pants and the sort of similar pants. Oh, I don't even have my Mickey right here. I was gonna pull him up for reference, but oh, I do have that little mouse mask. Uh, so yeah, we got a little mouse mask here. So yeah, I did read yeah. So that article or video, I can't remember now at the moment uh, at the top of my head, but. I did mention that this is kind of taking that Mickey, uh, the Mickey character by storm, uh, this play on Mickey, I say, uh, and I see that, I didn't really uh, think this was like a super, I didn't think this looked like Mickey at first, when I first saw this character, I didn't think it resembled Mickey too much, but uh, looking at it closer now, I can see where they see that, uh, definitely with the pants, we can see the, the you know, the, but, you know, those two dots, you know, those two dots in the pants, like Mickey and all that, uh, this is another interpretation on the, another interpretation play on a Mickey piece. Uh, not necessarily Mickey itself, but I did notice that on this one they have uh, the you know those little belt. I don't know what those are. Like his part of his belt, or part of his pants. Uh, they have them on both sides, the front and the back. On this actual, on this piece, I don't know if you can see that, but they got those two on the front and they got them on the back. But uh, this one actually on these cost pieces they only have those. Uh, oh, this they see like suspender buttons. You can see them more on this one. Uh, on the on the right here on the cause a uh, small eye actually he's got suspender overall so those look like you know his overall buttons and stuff uh, here they got like the button option but I'm uh, looking at the back oh it does have them so they do have the belt ah I lied so they actually have the uh, those um these little uh, overall buttons they do have them on the uh, small eye version here they got the overalls and the button here uh, but on this one it doesn't have those little overall buttons here on the on this back side but they are prevalent here and present in the front so that's very interesting i actually hadn't noticed that until right now at this very moment so and i don't think i would have noticed that since this was sealed in the packaging uh but that's an interesting interesting 
discovery, honestly. Uh, very, very cool. Uh, let me know if you're excited about this cost piece, other cost pieces, what's your favorite cost piece, colorway, anything, you know, really. Uh, I like talking to you folks and all that in the comments. So, yeah, let me know what you folks think. Uh, I appreciate you so much for uh, watching and everything, you know, giving me, you know, the motivation and stuff to take this out the box and stuff for the first time. And I'm very glad I did. I'm very glad I found something new out about the piece. And uh, thanks a lot. And if you are interested in this content, uh, consider subscribing. Uh, it helps me, you know, motivate me to get more stuff like this open and, you know, show off to you folks. So thank you again, everyone. And I hope you have a great week. Uh, stay safe and thanks. Bye.